The willingness of small appliance manufacturers to produce coffee grinders depends on the price they can sell the coffee grinders for. Suppose the situation can be modeled by S of P is equal to 0.012 P square minus 0.6 P plus 40, where S of P represents the supply of coffee grinders in hundreds when P is the price in dollars and the price is greater than $40. Find the number of coffee grinders the manufacturers are willing to supply when the price is $60. So they would be willing to supply S of 60. S of 60, 0 0.012 by 60 square minus 0 0.6 by 60 plus 40. Let's calculate that. Minus 0 0.6 by 60 plus 40. 47.2. Alright, so remember that S of P is a number in hundreds. So, the manufacturers are willing to supply 47.200 grinders if the price is $60. Find a function for the projected revenue if all the coffee grinders are, that are supplied sell at price P. Well, if we're supplied a certain amount and they cost P dollars, then we can say that the revenue is equal to the price times the supply. So the revenue would be P times 0 0.012 p square minus 0.6 p plus 40. Applying the distributive property, that would give me 0 0.012 p to the third minus 0 0.6 by p square plus 40 p is the revenue model. So R is the revenue from selling P hundred no oh, I'm sorry from selling the coffee grinders at P dollars. Estimate the projected revenue if coffee grinders are sold for $70 each. All right, so then the revenue of 70 would be 0 0.012 by 70 cubed minus 0.6 by 70 square plus 40 by 70. So 0 0.012 by 70 cubed minus 0 0.6 by 70 square plus 40 by 70. 
3,976. And I, on the previous slide, I, I made an error back here. The revenue would be in hundreds of dollars. Since the supply is in hundreds and we're multiplying by P dollars, we would have hundreds dollars. So here then, the revenue for selling the grinders at $70 would be three thousand nine hundred seventy six hundred dollars